All right, guys, welcome to uh, episode two or day number two, depending if you're watching this on YouTube after I've posted it from Twitch or if you're watching on Twitch, the VOD. Thank you for watching the VOD or if you're going to join me in t the future, thank you for joining us on Twitch live. So since yesterday was a half successful launch, let me explain this franchise and what it is, what the rules are and what exactly we're doing here. So. The year is 2013. It is exactly five years post 2008 Navy. Head coach Ken Niamatololo, as you see in the top right, that's a mouthful. I had to practice saying that. Um, he has since left Navy at Annapolis and somehow found his way into one of his grandfather's old wills in which it gave him half of the claim or control of what was known as the Baltimore Ravens, located in where? Maryland. So that's where he spent most of his coaching career. So naturally, he decides that he wants to relocate them to Memphis, Tennessee, and name them the Steamers because that was one of the proposed names and as closest to sailors or midshipmen. So that's what he did. So basically, Coach Ken went out and recruited everyone from Navy that graduated from 2008 to 2012. He, and, and actually, well, the season starts in 2013, so those who played through uh, pretty much up to, yeah, no, that's four years. He was able to recruit, so we have mem memorable faces such as Shun White, the running back. He's pretty good. He's only five foot nine hundred eighty eight pounds. Decent strength, sixty eight strength, despite being kind of a, a smaller stature running back. Really good speed at ninety two. Agility is not so good. His acceleration is pretty good at ninety four. Uh, ball carrying and elusiveness is pretty good. Carrying is eh. Trucking is good. Stiff arms pretty good. Now naturally, I had to simulate one season, and then go ahead and bring these guys, uh, relocate them. And whatnot. So they did have a little bit of a tiny progression going on. It's it wasn't abs it wasn't like you know immersion breaking or anything, but there was a little bit of um, progression. And also too, I'll show you really quick. There's some rookies that you see, but one thing you will notice is I did not sign any outside free agents. Now I know you guys are probably like, okay, who's Corey Finner Finnerty and Curtis Sharp tied in and. All these other people. So this is my restrictions. I can only sign in free agency those people who left my team because sometimes you try to offer them a contract and they won't come back. Um, so I can only offer the people that were on my team previously a new contract, and I can only draft players like through the draft, and I can only sign undrafted free agents. So they're like recruits, walk on. So basically, I have my draft, which is my my recruits. I have my undrafted free agents, which are my walk-ons. And then the people that I re-sign along the way is like kind of me giving out scholarships slash transfers. Yeah. Yeah, but unfortunately there are no transfers. I haven't really worked in a way to trade uh, immersion-wise how to work in a trade. Um, but yeah, so this is where I'm at. Ignore these overalls. They don't make much sense to me. He's really like a 92. He started the season with an 84, and he's already at a... Uh, I, I know it's gonna um I know it shows him as an 83 right now but uh, the overalls and franchise are a little bit skewed so just kind of ignore that like I said when, when I uh, they're skewed so when I get in game I'll show you what my team actually looks like we're pretty slow uh, a lot of physical ratings for our guys as you see their physical grades are in the 70s uh, that's a rookie that I got but yeah we're undersized, we're slow, Malvin's of lines pretty small.